I want to show you guys one other clip because uh, DeSantis went hard when it came to defending keeping Florida free. And I would also say this, you mentioned, Liz, that people are flocking to Florida. That would not have happened if Charlie Crist had his way. He wrote me a letter in July of 2020 saying you need to shut down the state of Florida. He said you need to force people to shelter in their own homes. That would have destroyed the state of Florida. That would have caused, that would have caused our tourism industry to go into the toilet. It would have locked out millions of kids from school. I rejected Charlie Crist's lockdown down letter. I kept this state open and I kept this state free. And we now have the biggest budget surplus in the history of Florida. Uh, we have a 2.5% unemployment, governor, second lowest time. on record, and we just did the biggest tax cut in Florida Thank history. Thank you, Governor. That's time. Congressman, you have 30 seconds for rebuttal. Thank you very much. Well, Ron, that's rich. You're the only governor in the history of Florida that's ever shut down our schools. You're the only governor in the history of Florida that shut down our businesses. I never did that as governor. You're the one who's the shutdown guy. We need to have somebody who is at the helm that understands it's important to listen to science, to do what's right, to utilize common sense. You don't just shut down at the outset and then when it's you know politically convenient for you, you want to open back up to store political points for your race for president. That's not right, it's not what the people deserve. Governor, you have 30 seconds. Well, so he opposed having kids in school. His supporters sued me to keep the kids out of school in 2020. And, ha and how critical was that decision? We just got the nation's report card, the results from all 50 states. Florida, number three in fourth grade reading and number four in the country in fourth grade math. And if you adjust that for demographics, we are number one in the country in both. That would not have happened if we let Charlie Chris and his friends lock our kids out of school like they did in California and like they did in New York. We did Thank it right you, in Florida. Dave, are you amazed that, you know, we were told before the thing started, you know, both sides be quiet, which the DeSantis side did. Okay, the Chris side did not. So then the DeSantis side, to start, you know, started getting involved too. But are you amazed that there were people who were actually cheering for more lockdowns? I mean, people even here in Florida seem to want more of the nonsense. It's, uh, look, it's crazy. I, I, I am not sympathetic to Charlie Crist in any way. That said, he did have an impossible task ahead of him because, I mean, he opened up the debate blasting DeSantis and saying, you're the only one, a governor in the history yeah. of Florida who's locked schools down. Well, this is a real disconnect with his audience and his supporters, especially the crazy people mm -hmm. from the teachers unions in, his, in, his, um, uh, in the audience, in the crowd, because all of these people love the lockdowns. You know, they, they, they loved it. So he, he really kind of had an impossible task ahead of him because um, y you've got all these contradictory um, all these contradictory ideas. You know, they they want to attack DeSantis for um, for being too heavy-handed on one hand, but on the other hand, they supported every heavy-handed thing and more. So it's a difficult place to be. And and uh, look, I can understand an, an I guess theoretically an anti-DeSantis, anti-freedom position. I can kind of understand that. Um, I don't think it's right, but it's it makes a certain amount of sense. What I don't understand is the theory of Charlie Crist's candidacy. You know, I, I can understand someone who's anti-DeSantis, but pro-Charlie Crist, I just don't get it because the guy is, you know, I mean, the, the guy's an empty suit. As, as John said, he will say whatever it takes. Um, just a shell of a human.